right. Una Williams is in the News 9 Kitchen today with us from Royal Temptations. And you do a lot of gluten free cooking and you give lectures and talk to people about how to cook well yes. with uh, when you're cooking gluten free, yeah. which can be a challenge for yeah. some folks. Well, as, as a lot of people know, I have celiac disease now, but they also know I know food. And so gluten free has to taste as good as regular stuff. And I say, you know, real food isn't actually gluten free, it's only baking you have to change. So this is one of the recipes this month, the National Foundation for Celiac Awareness, that you can find at my um, Facebook, Gluten Free Cooking with Una. And I grew up on soda bread. Both my parents were born in Southern Ireland. So even though I grew up in London, soda bread was my bread, not, not the Wonder Loaf white bread thing. So this, is, um, this blend is the King Arthur flour, brown rice, potato starch, and tabioca starch. But I also added teff and millet to give it more of the flavor and more nutrition. A little bit of baking powder, butter, and sugar just rubbed in. And I did it in the food processor. You know, why, why stand doing it that way? Mm -hmm. And then this is just real buttermilk, you know, the good stuff, not, not, you can sour if you're dairy intolerant, you can use the butter substitute and sour almond milk or whatever. And literally, you're just going to pour this in and stir it. And it's very, very wet. When you start doing it, you think, oh my goodness, it's never going to get to anything. Do you just you have to see. stir it for a you long time? You just stir it and the baking powder and the xanthan gum, which, as you know, takes the place of the gluten, slowly stiffens it up. But with gluten-free, it's not a dough. No, nothing in gluten-free is a dough like in wheat flour. It's more this sort of paste that you can see, and that's stiffened up quite nicely. Then what I do, you can see on the display, whoops, that's the size I bake, because that does me nicely. Mm -hmm. And literally, just a scoop like that onto a baking sheet. The recipe makes about 24 this size, and you can easily halve it. And it's about half an hour in a 350 oven. I like it being crunchy on the back and crunchy on the top. My mother always had it soft. But, you know, this is great. The other re the recipe also tells you how to make big ones that you can make as sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, the other recipe this month is your old-fashioned egg salad, but that's hot smoked salmon on cedar planks that I did this morning instead of smoked salmon. And then the other indulgent thing is my gluten-free chocolate fudge cake made with almond flour, then whipped cream with Carolan's liqueur because they tell you it's gluten-free, and then white chocolate ganache with more... Ca I like alcohol. You all know I like to use alcohol for flavor. But, you know, these are recipes, I say, that are in the National Foundation for Celiac Awareness. I was in um, New London last night doing a talk on not just gluten-free, but the power of food. food. I'm in Atkinson in a week or so I'm into mass after that, talking power of food and gluten free and trans fats and GMOs. And how do people follow you? And you can find me on Facebook at Gluten Free Cooking with Una. I forgot to say, yes, I was one of WZID's 20 Outside in Ring last weekend, so I'm, I'm very special. Hi, you are. Yes. And we appreciate it every time you come in, Una. Thank you so thank much you for sharing this me. recipe, and we'll be right back.